Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is Lavender Lightworker. I appreciate you stopping by. I'm gonna be doing a weekly Cancer Collective reading. I'm gonna pull a few Oracle cards for you and we're gonna do a tarot reading. Um, I'm also a water sign. I'm a Scorpio. I love my Cancers and they love me. So please hit like and subscribe. Cross watchers are very welcome. Love you all. Um, I'm a new channel, so I'd appreciate it if you could just press like. Um, if you have to sign out because you don't want someone to see, make a fake account and press like. <laughs> Do that for your Scorpio girl. All right, Cancer, let's get this started. I'm gonna call on the ancestors and the spirit guides of only light. shuffle these oracle I want to bring some positive peace love and light messages from the cancer collective all right cancer let's see what art angel michael has to say what are the messages for our cancer collective Show us what we need to see. For the Cancer Collective Art in the Michael Bishop's message we need to see. And there we go. All right, Cancer. We have guarded and protected. Okay, the prayer says, thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, assuring that we are safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. You are, guide, you are guarded and protected by the angels, Archangel Michael, he's all around your home. He's all around your heart. He's all around your family. You are protected. They are watching you. That's wonderful. Believe and trust. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Believe and trust that you are protected, even in your dreams. Okay? Love that. All right, let's get into... Uh, I know my, my, my fellow cancers are kind of sarcastic, and I have a very sarcastic oracle deck with an attitude. I think you appreciate this. Um, it's going to drop a lot of F-bombs, so... Don't shoot the messenger. Be prepared. Okay? And the Cancer Collective, please show me the cards I need to see. Please and thank you from the Cancer Collective. Please show me the cards I need to see. The beautiful Cancers. Thank you. Show me the oracle card I need to see. To protect and show me what I need to see. Please and thank you. My warm and loving cancers, please show me the cards I need to see. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. 
We got, you need a big fucking hug. Squeeze. Oh, I will give you all a big hug. Big hug. Oh, Cancer, what's going on? You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. You are powerful and amazing, Cancers. I, I have a strong bond with you. Um, whatever's going on, you're guarded and protected. God's watching you. The ancestors, spirit guys, guardian angels, they're watching you. Just believe and trust. When you lay down at night, say a prayer. Know you're protected. You need a hug. If you need to hug someone you love, go hug them. Hug yourself. I sleep with two pillows. Hug your pillows. If you got a fur baby, you know, cuddle with your cat, your dog, your bird, whatever. Just, you know, your reptile. Just cuddle. If you don't, get you a pillow. And you're talented. Um, you guys are very gifted. Use your use your voice to help others. All right, Cancer. Which deck is calling me? Which deck is calling me? I think I'm going to use this one. Cancer. All right. For my Cancer Collective. My love bugs. I need a hug. What is the message for my Cancers? You might want to stay away from toxic people at work, I'm saying. If someone's trying to have a love affair at work, put that shit away. Don't do it. Protect yourself. Think logically. Don't do it. You know, they're going to try to trap you and keep you. Like, oh, we had sex, and but now I see you every day at your cubicle. You know, they're going to, you know, no. Don't allow it. Stay away from love affairs. That's what I'm getting at work. Look, lovers, stay away. Remember that snake. You need a hug, but don't go hugging no damn snake. Okay? Cancer Collective. Please show me the cards I need to see. Yo, don't go being a fool. But if you do, just know you'll be okay. You'll still be able to smell them flowers. And there's your fur baby wanting to hug you. All right. Please, Cancer Collective, show me the cards my Cancers need to see. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Show me the cards I need to see for my Cancer. Ooh, they're trying. Oh, they're trying to send lots of messages to you, Cancer. Please and thank you. Show me. Oh, my cancer needs to see. Please and thank you. Please and thank you for the cancer card. Please and thank you, Spirit. Please and thank you. Please see. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I don't know what my cancer card needs to see. Okay. Okay, um I cancer. You see this is in the reverse, but the picture actually shows what it looks like in reverse. So you have the five of wands in reverse. You see, you're finally going to have peace. Whatever conflict has been going on in your life, they're giving up. You're giving up. It's going to be peace. People are like, you know what? Let's take a fucking lunch break, dude. Like, I'm tired of hating on cancer. Or, or maybe you're tired of hating on them. Put it where it needs to go. Someone's just... It's getting old. 
It's getting old. Someone's getting old, and I'm seeing, I'm seeing someone's, someone toxic who was being argumentative, maybe a narcissistic energy. A few people hating on you, teaming up again, they're giving up, and they're walking away. And look at you, you still got all of your cups of love, and you look a little sad about it, you look a little worn out, but you're still there. They've, they've got to do the hiking through those mountains. And all that. They did all that. Let them walk. So I'm sure you got a car around the corner. Or a nice little comfy bed. Look at you. You're fine. There's spilled blood on the... You know, maybe you're leaving an abusive relationship. Someone's been hitting you. Looks like you're leaving that shit behind. We got the Ace of Wands. It's like you're leaving a new relationship and you might, you're going to get a new opportunity, but you need to be careful with this new opportunity. It might feel cold at first. If, you, if you're going to go, if you're going to break up with someone abusive and not do the healing, be careful who you go and sleep with. You don't want to catch an STD. You don't want to wake up all them bumps on your stuff. Okay. I see cancer. I see you coming out of a period where you've been inside yourself. Okay? You were withdrawn, timid. You were isolated. I see you coming out of isolation. You know, it seems like I'm I'm really getting some type of abusive situation, cancer. I'm getting some type of abusive situation, whether it was your family, a, a loved one, a roommate, it, it, you know, the war is over, whatever it was, you're coming out of this isolation period and it's going to be okay. You are going to be okay. I'm going to clarify in a second. Give me one minute to... Uh, Clarify something real quick. It's like you're in denial. It's like you're overcoming. It's, you know, be careful. The energy. You, you've put so much energy into this. You've put energy into these people fighting you. Family, friends. You put it where it goes. And everyone's done. You guys are exhausted. It's been a long battle. You've put way too much energy and time. You're exhausted. But at the end of the day, you're going to have a new opportunity. But I see you it coming in the form of meeting a new person that probably just wants to get in your pants. And if it's not that, it's a new passionate idea like maybe you're like well you know i've been in this situation and i'm trying to heal so maybe i want to just start a new project or a new hobby you know just make sure the hobby that you start makes sense you need to heal cancer you need to heal but know that this is over let's clarify cancer come on let's do this I want to know what this Ace of Wands is about. It's a lizard. Please and thank you. Clarify this Ace of Wands. For my Cancer Collective, please. Thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Clarify. This Ace of Wands. Maybe you're leaving a job behind, or it was too it was too competitive. I don't know if you're a life insurance agent or some you know car salesman. It's like you're just tired of fighting. You're you're tired of 
having to compete for your paycheck to be bigger and you're walking away, you're walking away. You don't feel like it's worth the time. I'm gonna get messages all over the place. Take it where it goes. All right, for my cancer collector, please clarify this Ace of Wands with the lizard on it, please and thank you. For my cancer collector, please clarify Ace of Wands with the lizard on it. Please and thank you for my cancer collector, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Clarify. The cancer collector. So many cards. Please and thank you. Clarify for the cancer collector. Please and thank you. Wow, cancer. They are really trying to tell you downloads. You're going to get a lot of downloads when you sleep. Pay attention to your dreams. You need a hug. Just believe and trust that you're protected. Please and thank you. Please clarify this. Ace of Wands. Please and thank you. Please clarify this. Ace of Wands. For my cancer collective. Please and thank you. Alright, that's a lot of cards, but we're going to take them. So this Ace of Wands. You're going to see that this new person that you might meet after, or this new job that you might get, or this new project that you might start, whatever this new opportunity is, you are going to see that it, 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 it's not victorious because it seems like a trick. It's a tricky start or it just seems like it's a mind fuck. And it's just, you're not going to feel like it's worth your time. It, it's not going to be worth your money. You're not going to feel, it's like you're going from one job or one relationship you didn't heal from one job or one relationship or put it where it goes. And, you, and this new start is another relationship. And it's you're going to feel like you're not seeing your investment again. And, you know, maybe you need a vacation. You need to get out, out of the snow. It's like you, you're walking back into something toxic. So what I'm getting for this Ace of Wands with the, with the lizard... Whatever this is that you're tired of fighting or someone else is tired of fighting and that you're leaving behind, you're going to get a new opportunity. You put that where it goes. You'll see when it happens, whether it's a new love interest, a new passionate partner, a new job, a new whatever. Before you make that decision, understand that you need to heal first. You need to heal because you're going to attract a similar situation. You're going to, uh, you, sometimes you got to heal. You're going to attract the same demon over and over again in a new job, a new coworker, a new partner, a new situation. You know, like just because it's a new opportunity, I'm not saying lizards are demons. I'm just saying he needs to heal his spots, maybe. He got a little sunburned, you know? He didn't heal yet. Even, look, the hand. Can barely touch it he's so hot you know wands of fire so i think you need to you know act on calming down cool cooler temperatures so this is um let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for you you know and when you walk away and you start this new project, you're gonna probably receive some news, someone from the past or, or your job is gonna ask you to come back or you know, you might feel sad about it, but you're gonna finally see that it was the best thing you could do was to walk away. You're gonna finally see it and you're gonna start to get happy. You're gonna look out and you know, you're gonna see a lot more opportunities if you take the time to heal. You need to get your rest. You know, you need to get your rest because it's not going to take that long to heal. It's going to take some time and patience. 
Don't go accepting everything that comes your way, like I said. Yeah. And then, you know, you might be a little bit emotionally unstable for a while. Maybe waiting on, maybe thinking you got bad karma or, or waiting for someone's car to hit them. And maybe you feel like you're not being victorious, but just hang on in there. Look at it from a different perspective. Sometimes you gotta go through the fire. Sometimes you gotta go through shit. Trust me, I know. Through pain and suffering. In order to see it from a different perspective. And finally, when you heal, you go, wow, that's why I suffered. That's why I went through that. And as you're hanging along and you're getting this enlightenment, God and the angels, you know, someone you love will be there to make sure you're getting your nourishment. Okay? You are going to be okay. You need a hug. But all you, you need to heal is what I'm seeing, Cancer. You need to heal. You need to heal. And anyone that's done you wrong in the past or is, is going to try to, you know, steal, lie, do, be deceptive, they're going to get their karma. Watch. They're, not, they're too busy looking at how they can fuck you over. They're about to hang themselves and get caught in a trap. They're going to get trapped. Yeah, Cancer, you're in some type of karmic cycle with a job, a family member, a person. You put it where it goes. You know, you're in some type of uh, karmic cycle. And unfortunately, until you learn your lesson and your value and your worth and you take the time to heal, you're going to repeat this shit over and over again. I've done this. I, I spent over 20 years repeating shit. And when I finally fucking realized, OK, I get the picture. I saw the results. And that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. Don't run and jump into random opportunities just to heal and, and you know, that, what's that saying? Don't, the fastest way to get over someone is to get up underneath another one. No, it's not. It's not the best thing to do. It's not okay. Um, so heal, heal yourself, Cancer. I promise you, if you take the time and heal yourself, you will come out on top and you'll meet a better opportunity. All right, Cancer, this is what I have for you. If you'd like a private reading, email me at lavenderlightworker at gmail.com. I also offer private tarot reading lessons. Uh, cash app tips are highly appreciated. Thank you. Please uh, share this video with someone that you think it might help. Uh, like, subscribe to my channels if you want to keep with updates. Uh, I'll see you soon. This is your weekly Cancer Collective for the beginning of April. Thank you, Cancer. See you soon. Bye-bye.